Hi there, welcome to Lai Labs, and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you guys how I was able to pass the CCNP routing and switching. I'll tell you the resources that I used and uh, some study tricks that I have. I started this uh, CCNP journey in March of this year and um, I was able to finish the final exam in October, on October 17th as you can see right here. So it took me a few months, but um, it was a long journey. So the first thing that I uh, wanted to share with you guys is what did I use? What was uh, the resources that I had? I'm someone who likes to learn by doing. So I um, did a lot of hands-on um, labbing. Unfortunately, um, I didn't have a lot of time to actually set up a lot of complex labs. So I ended up using uh, Cisco Viral. And uh, Cisco Viral is really good. Uh, my employer was able to pay for the $200 that it's worth and I set up a lab. And I was able to follow a lab that some guy had on uh, Pluralsight. I think his name was Ben Piper. So I was able to uh, just follow his uh, labs there. Let me just show you. That's the one. This is the course that I followed and Ben Piper is great because he was able to actually walk me through a lab that we set up in Viral and also get it done. So that's the second resource that I use. The other one is I actually just had my own physical home lab. I bought my uh, 3570 switches. I have a video on those. I bought them for 30 bucks on uh, Craigslist. I know actually that was Facebook Marketplace. And you can also look around for those T570 layer 3 switches. They're great. So I labbed a lot. I studied a lot from uh, plural site. I didn't I bought a book, but I didn't read the, the whole book. I used the book uh, as mostly uh, reference. I'll show you the book. It's the first book that shows up. It's the official Cisco book right here. This is the book that I read. I read part of it, um, but mostly I used the book as points of reference, especially on topics that I didn't fully understand, like IPv6. <laughs> so uh, this is the book that I had. Not, I mean, I'm not a book reader. I, I would read a little bit, but I mostly like to follow the labs in the book, mostly. So I had uh, Cisco Vial, I had um, Pluralsight, and the book. Those are the three resources that I had. And of course, I had Cisco Vial viral subscription that I know everybody not everybody can afford but if you can't I found out that um, by the end of my studies I was away from viral because viral was for me, mostly my um, routing and switching course in plural site I was spending most of my time on GNS3 this is where you want to be if you're studying for your CCNP there's a lot of good people out there with a lot of uh, topologies that they would post right here on GNS3. If you just do a search for CCNP, I'm pretty sure you will see a lot of things on GNS3. I'm not going to show you which ones I used, but there are some people on, on this GNS3 uh, labs that actually have some uh, topologies that are very good that will prepare you for the exam that um, you'll be very interested in. Like this one, I'm pretty sure that um, you can find a lot of information. So I'm not going to spoon feed you, but I'm going to tell you that if you spend some time on GNS3, you will actually spend a lot of time studying and you will actually understand this uh, concept. So the things that I did was I used Pluralsight. I had a book, this one. I had GNS3. I happened to have Viral. And above all, for most of my experience, I had my own lab. And I... Uh, if you stick around or if you subscribe to this channel, I'll be explaining exactly what I had set up in my lab and uh, how I connected everything. So that if you, you really want to go that hands-on experience, because as someone who wants to be in the networking field or who is in the networking field, 
you also want to be able to simulate these in a real world environment so in the next videos i'll be showing you guys if you subscribe um what i did in my own personal home lab and if you are care about the um cisco viral topology i'll be more than willing to share that with you just leave me a comment in the sec comment section below and i'll be able to help you so until then just subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys later